Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for tuning in here. For today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the crown jewel of the first wave of the Transformers Kingdom line. This is Leader Class Beast Megatron. This is again super exciting. I know that they put Kingdom on the box. There's going to be a Netflix show and all that, but this is a fully updated Generations Beast Wars Megatron. Again, super exciting. I've waited for this guy for a really long time. The past 10 years, I was really wanting an updated one. Now, uh, this figure is very, very nice. You can see right here just the posing he can get into. He has just a dominating stance to him. He is fabulous. Let's get into some details with him. Now just look at the sculpted detail on him from this angle right here and just look at his sculpt in general. Like he just has this very nice, very towering, imposing stance. This dude looks menacing. I, I love it a lot. Now there was an issue with him, not an issue, but a detail that was released about him well before he came out that terrified me. It really terrified me. And I, I don't think it'll be an issue, but I mean it's something that we really won't know about for a very long time, um, you know, as the figure degrades um, over time. And that's the fact that a lot of this skin for the dinosaur mode is rough. So you're going to have, I'll show you what I mean by that. This part over here is more of a thick rubber, and it's layered on top of this hard plastic. You can really see it right here, these holes poking through. This is a rubber piece that is glued and attached to hard plastic, like, you know, a skeleton, basically. You can see it back here as well. You can really tell these are uh, kind of like that. You can see the pegs poking through where the plastic or the rubber slides in. So um, the worrisome thing about that is the fact that um, rubbery plastic tends to degrade over time. There's also an issue where um, rubbery plastic, when it's in contact with hard ABS, certain consistencies of it can degrade and kind of melt over time and meld together. Um, because, you know, plastics is just oils, it decomposes, it, it oxidizes, it, there's a lot of things that happen to it. So um, rubber plastic meeting with hard plastic is an issue on some lines like old Star Wars figures and stuff. But there are rumors that there's a new compound in which that's not going to be an issue. There are folks who have Black Series figures who have said they've had those figures for years in, uh, out in the open, and there's no issues on their rubber capes or anything like that so um, long-winded thing about the rubber plastic but just a heads up he does have rubber plastic and this is something that you know we really won't know if it's an issue for another 10 years down the line so there's that now here, I just want to get a look at his actual sculpt, and his, like, intricate detailing all over his body is so nice. The way, even the rubber parts of this, everything is sculpted very, very nice, and I really think the paint application is very good. The gradient that goes into the belly to the purple of the rest of the T-Rex, the green on top, that little stripe there, um, he looks gorgeous. Now, this head sculpt up here, I think is absolutely wonderful. He has a Predacon symbol inside this forehead crest there. It's gorgeous. I want to say the only tiny nitpick, it's it's not even a nitpick, I would have liked the head sculpt to have a small smirk to it. Beast Wars Megatron's kind of crazy and cocky but you know I, that's not an issue at all it's it's me looking for something that you know if, if you guys want me to, to complain about something he does have a bit of a backpack back here this is most of his t-rex back and everything like that uh, i think they did pretty well with all this considered but this will probably be a point of contention for some here it is from the front and from the side and from the back there so just a heads up on that the other thing as well um he's got this white plastic that is on the inside of his uh legs here uh, and it goes all the way down into the feet, even though these are separate pieces. But he's got this white underneath plastic. I didn't like that from the promo pictures. Um, I thought it looked a little goofy. Um, but honestly, having it in hand, I kind of like it because uh, it kind of gives it the impression of, like, bone underneath in the beast mode So and being exposed. So, I, hey, um, yeah, I'm looking for, like, reasons and excuses and all of that. But, hey, it is what it is. Um, his hand here over here, he does have – you'll see more of this, the actual sculpt of the T-Rex head in T-Rex mode. But he does have a – five millimeter port in there so he doesn't come with any accessories but he does have a port in there for blast effects so you can absolutely use the siege and earthrise blast effects whoops there he is with him and it looks wonderful like that. So again, he has kind of an issue where you can't use the very wide effects because of where the port is. But just a heads up there, you can use other figures blast effects to get him in a pew pew position. Now, there is a slight issue that my Megatron had out of the box, a QC issue, if you will. Um, I, I've been seeming to have a, a couple QC issues here and there, so I, I'm really sorry if I pissed you off, John Hasbro. If I pissed you off, let me know. Um, uh, I'd like to buy, you know, 100% good toys again out of the box. But um, the issue is over here. I looked on the feedback thread on TFW 2005 for this toy to see if anybody else had the issue, and there was one other guy, um, or one other person, I guess, who did have this issue, and that is um, in the left arm over here here there's an issue with this where you would get it and the pin from what i've been able to tell the pin is misfired i don't know if you'll be able to tell from this angle you kind of can you can tell right here is the circle for the joint and then you can see the black of this disc here pointing out 
What this means is this pin has been slightly misfired in which it's edging up a little bit, meaning the rotation of this of these you know circles is not working properly. So what would happen is that there is more plastic up here that I shaved away that would knock it very early and it would get to about here and show a lot of resistance and it would basically be a decision factor between either doing this or pushing it all the way up to click it into place um, in which this caused stress marks because moving the arm for the first time I didn't think that would be an issue um, but you can see here this is different I did mod this before I made the video so I apologize but if anybody does have this issue I figured it might be good this is about how much plastic you're gonna want to shave away there is a lip up here that is a that's taller than the the little um, uh, 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 cavity in here so you'll be able to have a little bit of movement it's not going to look like you're gouging out that hinge to open it up you do have wiggle room in there and you just want to do it as much as you need I kept I would you know carve out a little bit of a layer move it up a bit to see where I got and what I have here is this so the arm moves pretty okay now um, I thickened it up a little bit with some clear nail polish so it's not perfect but it's pretty good and he has full range of movement in his elbow now so again we'll get to the articulation but I really really wanted to cover that if anybody's watching this video has that issue and doesn't know what to do about it you just grab an exacto knife be very very careful do not cut yourself wear gloves and um, you just want to carve out a little bit in there move it until you have your desired range of movement now for comparisons if anybody's really curious to see how he scales up with primal here if you've not seen that yet here are the two are so again you got a voyager class with a leader class megatron is a nice beefy leader class i know that there's a lot of contention with the size classes and what they relate to with the actual scale but uh, megatron does pull off a modern day leader in size and heft and everything very very well where primal is kind of a shorter voyager but hey is what it is these do scale up nicely and uh yeah this guy's not very imposing compared to him he is a freaking monster now, unlike Primal, I do not have Masterpiece Megatron to compare him with, so I do apologize, but I do have the original Beast Wars toy. So this is the, I believe, 10th anniversary version from Toys R Us. This is the two-pack with the nicer paint or whatever. Uh, but here, these two are together. So again, you can get an idea of how the two scale up. This is 25 years of engineering evolution in the Transformers series. I love this. Stuff like this, I really like seeing the original with the brand new reiteration. I, I, I really love doing this type of thing. This is some legacy junk right here. So you can see how they scale up. They both kind of deal with their dinosaur junk in their own way and uh, their tails and everything like that. These guys look really nice together. I, I really enjoy the sculpt on this. I'm not getting rid of this, obviously. This is a, this is a piece of Transformers history. But uh, just if you're curious how these two look together and that type of uh, time gap between engineering. And I guess for the crazy people out there, this is the only other Beast Wars Megatron I have. Here's the Cybertron Deluxe version. And um, yeah, moving on. Megalovania here does have a really nice array of articulation in robot mode. His head is on a ball joint, so it goes up and down just a little bit. It does rotate 360. If you'd like to get more head movement out of this, he does have this little transformation hinge up here. So you can undo that and get some nice up movement for that. Doesn't really add any type of uh, issue because of that neck joint there. And then also the arms rotate 360 at the shoulder. Both arms do, but uh, they're going to get knocked by the backpack pieces here, but they do have the ability. They're going to go in and out that much at the shoulder, both of them. Both have a rotating bicep. This arm over here does have an elbow joint. So like I talked about before, it can go backwards, but uh, if you want to make him look, you know, broken and gangly, but it does go up that much, about 90 degrees. And then he does have a little hinge in here on his wrist. So I thought this was for transformation. It's not, not at all. Um, you don't want to do that. But uh, yeah, he has a nice little wrist joint in there. This arm over here, bicep and shoulder is the exact same, but the T-Rex head, it doesn't have a joint uh, that goes this way, but he does have a, technically a gorilla styled um, uh, arm joint, I suppose. But he's got um, up movement right here on the elbow. It gets about that much. And this one over here, I think is meant to be the real positioning for that kind of use the jaws the thumb that's what i like to do get some really nice movement out of that arm still the waist can rotate 360 degrees there is no thigh rotation or anything like that come on arm his uh legs at the hips do go forward and they go backward that much so a nice array they go in and outward that much they're going to rotate 360 degrees at the knee um there is again no thigh swivel his feet are on pivot so this is wonderful for robot and t-rex mode they are side to side pivots and also wonderful wonderful forward and back pivots right there so he's got a nice array of articulation if i had wanted to add anything it would probably be a joint right here but i'm totally fine with that because there's no ugly cut or divot in here to allow the joint so i think they actually did very very well trying to translate this for modern articulation oops Megamind here does have a very interesting satisfying and intuitive transformation so with all that out of the way David K say the line Megatron terrorize <laughs> Thank you. 
got Megs transformed into his T-Rex mode, and John Hammond would be proud. Look how damn beautiful this thing is. I gotta be honest again, I hate to gush. I really like the robot mode. I am in love with the dinosaur mode. I'm used to stuff, let's go ahead and do the comparison. I'm used to stuff like uh, this right here. Um, as far as uh, transforming dinosaurs go, which may, again makes me doubly excited for Kingdom. Not to say the old figure is bad, but it's just to say how good the new one is. Now, I'm not a Jurassic Park collector, but I have a buddy who's a big Jurassic Park collector. He's let me play with a lot of his stuff, and uh, I, this really reminds me of some of those Jurassic Park figures I've handled from the Legacy line. This is just gorgeous. He's got this rubber skin feel, which ultimately feels like that. The sculpt it's just wonderful. I, 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 I'm I sorry to gush. Like, I really am um, and to, to be unprofessional. But, uh, oh, my God, look at this. It, it's, mm, it's so beautiful. The sculpt in the head and everything, this is wonderful. There are rumors that there will be a Jurassic Park crossover toy um, using this as the base to make Rexy. So maybe, absolutely, I think it'd be wonderful. But look at just the texture in the skin and in the eyes. Oh, my God. I can't get over this. I really can't. The robot mode is great. The T-Rex mode is phenomenal. Oh, my lord. Inside the mouth here. The fuck? Sorry about that. I had mail delivered, <laughs> I guess. But, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, this is the uh, inside of the mouth here. Again, you can see some of that blast effect. Look at the texture on the tongue there. The teeth are very nicely painted. I think even, yeah, look at the roof of the mouth. It has very nice detail on it. This thing is just gorgeous. Just, ah, oh, look at him. I just, I, I love it. Just look at him make a T-Rex sound. Just... <laughs> Now, I'm sorry to kind of linger on it for a minute. Just this texture, though. I cannot get over this figure and how beautiful it looks in this mode. Again, um, organic modes are something, it's kind of a point of contention, not if they're good or bad, but how well they get pulled off from mode to mode. And this is just, oh, I love this. That Like, this is, if, if we waited for something this good to wait this long for, you know, classic Beast Wars, I'm fine with it. This is gorgeous. Ah, okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. It's sexy. Megatron's beast mode articulation is very nice. So these, uh, the way that this thing is also cut in here, this is for the transformation, which by the way, I wanna point something out. I think it's very interesting that the way his legs transform here uh, has this. Um, I'm not saying that that means anything. I'm just saying if they wanna reskin this completely with a full remold, but use the same base skeleton for a transmetal Megatron, uh, I'll buy the hell out of that John Hasbro. But uh, the way this moves in here, the way this transforms, it's got this slider hinge in here, which is actually, basically, it's meant for the joint to be able to move um, and slide all over the place. But what really it's meant for is for dyno mode, so we can still get movement. You'd wanna be careful. You don't wanna torque the hell out of that, um, but you get some really nice movement. You wanna move your thumb, with this to get it moved. You don't wanna just move this, this is gonna tear it. You wanna move that up here at the actual hip. That's wonderful. Again, he's got knees and he's got feet. Um, or uh, yeah, he's got his uh, feet articulation. It's the same that is uh, left to, to right, up and down. Because it's the same. These legs um, from the knee down are unchanged from robot mode. Um, it's a small issue down here. This doesn't peg in perfectly, but I think I can thicken that up with some clear nail polish that peg in there. But just a heads up, I've noticed other people point that out too. Um, again, his little baby arms, they can rotate 360. They're on itty bitty ball joints there, so you can get some movement out of that. His tail is pretty articulated, so again, this uses the elbow joint, the left and right. That's why it probably swings so far back um, on this um, backward elbow. So you get left and right like this, and then you can move the tail. You can rotate the tail, really. You can kind of get some uh, movement left and right, too. So really, really nice. Beautiful, beautiful movement out of this and then the head I love again with the way this thing transforms and allows for the articulation these uh, panels right here are spring-loaded um, I, I thought that was weird I didn't know why they're spring-loaded the reason they're spring-loaded is because when you turn the head left and right it keeps it to where these move with it and you don't have to like have these jetting out it's a nice little I don't want to say automorph or anything like that but it's a nice whoops it's a nice um, you know automated thing that allows for very cohesive, very smooth looks in his actual skin texture looking left and right. I love that. The head goes up and down and then like a lot because of the elbow in there and then again his mouth opens. So I mean this guy has beautiful a range of articulation. Again I'm sorry if I'm offending any Jurassic Park collectors but from the probably about like five to eight toys of Jurassic Park I've handled in the past five years this really really kind of reminds me of it. I'm, I'm in love with this. I'm <clears throat> sorry again he's still sexy. 
But that's pretty much all I've got to say here about Mega Man. I think he's absolutely wonderful. His robot mode is beautifully sculpted, it's imposing, it's gorgeous, and his T-Rex mode, in my mind, is ostensibly perfect. I would say the only two points of contention I kind of have with him are going to be the elbow issue back here, which hopefully what I was able to show you are able to, you know, if yours has that issue, it, you're able to fix it. Hopefully yours doesn't have that issue. That would be much more preferred, but hey, just in case. And then, then the other one, or the worry, is the rubber skin. Now, I really hope I'm not scaring anybody with that rubber skin stuff um, and it degrading over time. That's really not my intention whatsoever I just want people to be informed and why don't you get, have the um, the heads up to it I, I, I don't want anybody to be blindsided by it as much as I want somebody to know about a good thing about a figure I want them to know about you know maybe the bad or the worrisome more rather so just a heads up there we really just won't know for a while but again even if this guy only lasts 10 years you're gonna have a really nice 10 years with him he really really puts the capital B in beast if you guys have any questions about this guy maybe something I didn't cover in the video specifically please feel free to leave a comment in the section down below I'd be happy to get back to that as soon as possible please like this video if you enjoyed this content subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time thank you for watching